Hello everyone. So Karthik Shrinivas here. So today we are going to discuss on the topic how to select a groundwater detector and how to get 100% accuracy in the groundwater exploration industry. So the groundwater exploration is an indirect method. It's not a direct method. It's an indirect method of investigation of a zone to understand if that particular station is feasible for drilling. First, in this industry, nobody can promise 100% accuracy. The main involvement is the reason why we cannot provide 100% accuracy is due to the geological factors which keep on changing. So the geological factor is nothing but the subsurface lithological structure. Wherein the rocks, the soil, the mineral deposits, when things keep on changing, whichever equipment we use, the equipment cannot directly identify the water source. So if someone is planning to purchase a groundwater detector, I'm going to brief you on uh, what is a water detector. First, in this industry, you need to understand the equipment which is called a water detector is an indirect equipment. It is not a direct equipment which can say here there is water. So there are many factors which influence the accuracy pattern. First, we need to identify a station. To identify a station, you need to have a locator. So the locator are in many forms. It may be magnetic locator, geomagnetic locator, proton magnetic locator or gravity based locator. So using a locator, first we identify a station. Second, we use a detector. So the detector records certain data by either sending current or frequencies or signals or in one or the other way, it records the data. So the third part is analysis of this data by either checking for its difference, conductance or resistance. We can classify that into rock, soil, fracture, aquifer, consolidated, unconsolidated, whatever it is. So these three stages are very important. The selection of the site using a locator, determining the depth and recording the data using a detector, analyzing these recorded data and interpreting further as per subsurface lithological structure of that area. These three stages are very important in groundwater industry. More than this, there are certain features which influence our prospection. The terminology in certain terms we tell that as geomorphology, hydrogeology, topography, uh, these selections. So by it may be by visual method or it may be by using some equipment. Uh, only if we consider all these factors, at least we can understand 80% of the subsurface structure. So if someone is planning to enter this industry, first you require a proper training. So proper training to record the data, then the interpretation level. Just by purchasing an equipment, if you think that we can provide 100% accuracy and uh, we can do this business, it is not a plain business, it's a research. So on a daily basis, we are going to do a uh, research on each site to select which location would be suitable for drilling. So further, if someone is uh, involved in selection of an equipment, there are a vast selection of equipment. So we can say that as auto mapping, auto interpretation, whatever it is, the auto interpreted data should be further interpreted to match that particular site wherever you are doing the prospection. Only then you can at least give 80% accuracy. So I am giving a clear description. Training on groundwater prospection is very, very important. Understanding the lithological formation is of the most important factor in giving accuracy. Uh, what happens is when you are using an equipment by influence of uh, uh, like uh, others, this equipment is good or another equipment is good. The equipment is good only to record a data. Equipment is just a calculator. So everyone will have a calculator, but everybody cannot score 100 marks. The person who knows to implement certain formulas for the calculation, for them the calculator would be a suitable device to uh, 
calculate certain things further uh, from whichever country you are or whichever state you are if you are planning to uh, purchase a product first the distributor should understand uh, the geological pattern of the location where you are going to work in certain areas uh, magnetic equipment won't be suitable in certain areas frequency based equipment won't be suitable in certain areas electrical based equipment won't be suitable so first we need to distinguish all these things then select an equipment then you need to get trained on understanding the geological factor of the area only then you can give accuracy in this industry so further if you want any clarification regarding the same i have also added my phone number you can chat with me on whatsapp uh, like you can understand what is the subject behind this then plan for entering this industry so uh, this is for today so further i'll be making certain videos on each equipment how it works what is the principle behind the process so stay tuned uh, i'll be with you so the phone number is specified in this video uh, you can whatsapp me for further queries or any any equipment it may be any equipment relative to that equipment if you have any doubts you can ping me i'll always there for uh, discussion so thank you very much have a good day